long, patient takes fade into deep character studies, while honest portrayals shine through a nostalgic voyeurism. There is a thoughtful romanticism behind Peter Bogdanovich, the film director, actor, writer, and producer. As an avid filmgoer, he found meaning in movies at a young age. It was a study in storytelling, setting the groundwork for the film historian and critic he would become. One time I asked for it, I said, well, do you think it's correct to print the legend? And Ford typically said, yeah, because heroes are good for the country. Before getting behind the camera, he trained as an actor under Stella Adler during his teenage years. He became a journalist for Esquire magazine. One of his articles drew the attention of director Roger Corman, who invited him to assist on the Wild Angels. Oh, no, Preach. Not children of God, but Hell's Angels! Yeah! Its enormous success led Corman to offer him a directing project of his own. In Targets, Bogdanovich would cast himself opposite Boris Karloff. Actors don't retire. About six months and you'll blow your brains out. Sammy, look around you. The world belongs to the young. Make way for them. A crazed sniper threatens their utopian ideals of old Hollywood. In his most critically acclaimed film, he would reinvent the Western and capture a year in the life of a small Texas town in The Last Picture Show. He took a page from his friend Orson Welles and shot in deep focus black and white. Why am I always apologizing to you, you little bastard? Three months I've been apologizing to you without you even being here. The film received eight Academy Award nominations, including Best Director. Bogdanovich is an actor's director. He'll work out the nuances of a scene before asking his performers to run it through. There's a crafty style to his framing of Barbara Streisand and Ryan O'Neill in the screwball comedy, What's Up, Doc? Where have you been? I had a little problem in the drugstore. Steve, you didn't tell me you were married. We're not married. Congratulations. But we will be soon. Condolences. The film was the second highest grossing picture of the year. Bogdanovich was quickly cementing his place as a heavyweight film director. Ryan O'Neill would join him again alongside his daughter Tatum in Paper Moon. The two embark on a Depression-era road trip as they con their way through the Midwest. You just hold on a second. I want my money. You took my $200. All right. But after a string of commercial flops, he couldn't escape the compromising demands from studios. Except on location in Singapore, he took the reins and brought an exotic authenticity to the seedy underworld of expatriate St. Jack. Well, the army's still in the cat house business, Jack, but I guess you wouldn't be interested in that. While shooting the realistic fantasy, they all laughed. The romance leapt off the page, and he began a love affair with Dorothy Stratton. Charles, this is Dolores. Hello, Charles. Nice to meet you, Dolores. It's a valentine to New York, and an adoring tribute to the love both he and Ben Gazzara felt for their leading women. There's something deeply personal about Bogdanovich's camera. He taps into the deepest conscience of his characters. Who's gonna take care of things? You. You're gonna have to take care of things, Mom, including yourself. That'll be something new, won't it? Schooled in the theater, there's fluidity to the most complicated staging. Door closed, Gary Love. Ah! Ah! At times, he is a hopeless romantic. I know what I want. What's that? How about we write a song together? OK. Well, let's go to the movies, then. Never forgetting those who came before him, he has written, curated, and documented important collections on notable filmmakers, including John Ford. He didn't want to talk about how he made it, or he didn't think of himself as an artist. Mr. Ford, you made a picture called Three Bad Men, which was a large-scale Western, and you had a quite elaborate land rush in it. Mm -hmm. How did you shoot that? With a camera. Younger generations would get to know him from his work on screen, especially in the HBO series The Sopranos. Why do we love roller coasters, Jennifer? Scary movies? to experience the thrill of being terrified without the consequences. Peter Bogdanovich continues to captivate us through his lens and his words, both written and spoken. A devoted cinephile, he reminds us to hold on to the past, bridging together new and old Hollywood. He keeps an idealistic hope alive in all of us.